All right, so I'm back. I needed to take a nap after that first part and uh, erase my screen. So what we're going to do is now we have to find the distance between the points here. So we've found 52 over 5 is our x-coordinate where these two lines meet and negative 41 over 5 as our y-coordinate. So now we need to find the distance between point R and I'm going to call this point P because this is the point where they intersect. Um, so what I'm going to use, instead of using fractions, I'm not going to use fractions here because this is also equal to, point P can also be um, put as 10.4 without rounding and negative 8.2 because uh, if uh, this is... Um, exactly the same number and this is one advantage of when we've got something with uh, five so we could actually use fractions here um, but I'm not going to do that because this problem's complicated enough as it is so now I want to find the distance between point P, uh, PR so we have to find the length of line segment PR and we're going to use our um, formula from before which is the length of x1 minus x2 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared or y1 minus y2 squared and so then this is equal to then subbing in if uh, we say point P is x1 so to be 10.4 minus 17 squared plus negative 8.2 squared um, oops sorry negative 8.2 minus 5 and that all be squared and so then this is equal to the square root of uh, 10.4 minus 17 is equal to negative 6.6 .6 squared plus negative, um, this would be negative 13.2 squared. And instead of simplifying, I'm going to do all the work on the calculator and this is not going to be an exact answer and so we're going to end up rounding so this would be this um, so six point six uh, six squared comes out to be um, positive 43.56 we're going to add oops. so 43.56 plus and in brackets we're going to put 13.2 and it's negative and we're squaring it close the bracket equals so it's going to be 217.8 and we so that's going to be the square root of and then we have to take the square root of that which is approximately 14. Point and if we round to the one decimal place uh, nearest tenth, it's going to be 14.8. So it's approximately 14.8 units. All right, that's it.